This is not financial advice. The Bitcoin source is an educational platform, not linked to any financial institution. The content of our podcast is solely for information and should not be seen as an offer to buy, sell, or hold Bitcoin or other financial assets. Consult a financial expert before investing. While our guests share their personal views, these may not always align with those of the Bitcoin source. Opinions expressed in the Bitcoin source, a Bitcoin conversation are the speaker's own and may differ from the Bitcoin source's views. Investing always carries risks. Please conduct your own research. Unchained succeeds because we have a lot of people working on the problem and splitting up the burden and working on different parts of, of the stack. So everything from network security to physical security to, to you know, security design and, and, and there's so much to, to do there. Um, I don't want to make it sound like it's impossible, but I think it's very, very hard to do every single piece of this yourself. And, and what you need to then do is then you need to say, well, which parts reasonably can I help I get, get help from um, in companies? I think most people say, well, I shouldn't build my own hardware wallet or software wallet. I should just use regular software that some company made and I should use a hardware wallet product that some other company made or the same company or whatever. And they should solve that. Part. I think that's most people would, would admit to that. I think there's a bigger gap in saying, well, I actually need to use a collaborative custody provider like Unchained. Um, and I don't think everybody does need to use Unchained. Um, you can implement collaborative custody on your own using open source software. Just have some friends, have some family members, right? Like <clears throat> work, work, give them public keys, train them how to use treasures and ledgers or cold cards or whatever your devices are. Um, and implement your own plans and implement your own inheritance protocol and do it all on your own. Great, great solution. But again, hard to do. You have to, it's easier to do that, I think, than to do everything your own. At least you're relying on software and hardware wallets now from other people, but you take on, you still have every other burden for yourself. Um, where Unchained really helps is coming in and taking on a lot of that, right? So we'll help coordinate the collaboration. We'll hold a key for you. We're a really, really good key holder. Uh, we do it literally professionally for you know thousands of people at a at a global scale, um, and we're doing it for years. Um, knock on wood, without any incidents, um, and we take it very seriously. It's one of the the main things that our business is responsible for. It's protecting our own key, which participates in the collaborative quorums of our clients. That's a pretty valuable service. Um, your your friends and family aren't probably doing as good of a job as we are, so maybe consider involving us as a key as well in your quorum, right? Um, and then finally, I think to the point we were just making, um, given that if you're advanced, you can use a wallet that is on Unchained that you've defined on Unchained in a collaborative custody way. You can use the same wallet on Sparrow on your laptop. You can sign the transactions there. It, it, you don't have to make Unchained the core centerpiece of your experience with your wallet. We'd like for you to. We think our product is really good. You can use financial services that way, um, but you don't have to do it that way. And we've designed it to support that kind of usage. Um, but what if you have some situation where you're collaborating with a friend or family member and they need to come in and they need to sign transactions or whatever else, like maybe they would prefer to use Unchained. It's an easier product for them. They get support um, that from the Unchained teams. Um, you know, that doesn't always have to land on you to provide that support. Um, so there's a lot of reasons why, I think even if you're a pretty sophisticated Bitcoiner, like this is a really good product for you to, to use. You don't have to trust all of your stash with it. Maybe you can keep some you know, carved on a piece of, you know, steel inside of a pipe and in, in, in your basement somewhere or whatever is the preferred solution you have. But I do think that for a lot of people, a, collab a professional collaborative custody model, fresh professionally supported and implemented collaborative custody model is the superior model. Um, and I think over time we'll see this play out like just globally across the market. Like un companies like Unchained will pop up in every jurisdiction you know, if you're in Mexico or Singapore, or China or New Delhi or whatever, like there will be a local provider. And I think locality here is to a degree pretty important. You want to make sure that you have a good line of communication and good support from folks who play a role like this for you. Um, and uh, I see this being very common um, for both individuals and for businesses. I think for businesses, especially collaboration is really important. I think it's interesting. I think for individuals, there's a certain degree of wanting to be sovereign. And, you know, one to make sure that, let's say, an Unchained vault model, the two out of the three, the two of three model, that you have two of those keys. It's very important. Um, I think for businesses, some businesses, that's very important. You want to make sure you have a majority of keys to your treasury. But for other businesses, it's actually um, exactly what you don't want. You don't want to be in a position where your business can somehow abscond with a bunch of funds. You, you want to have provable 
uh, or, or you want to have deniability around that, right? It could not have been us. We didn't have access to sufficient keys to make to make that happen. Like that's a great protection for a lot of businesses. So I think collaboration, both for individuals as well as for businesses, is uh, is, is the end state of Bitcoin custody. Um, I, I I say this often um, in investor meetings these days, but uh, Unchained has very little churn. Um, I'm I, there, we have a great client acquisition and very little churn um, because very few people, once they set up a collaborative custody model like ours, want to ever leave. Um, Coinbase has huge churn. Like we have a lot of folks leaving Coinbase coming to collaborative custody models like ours. Um, and, and in that sense, there, there's not a next model to graduate to once you're here.